Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. Uh, we're picking up right where we left off with um, trying to make the stock market year behave like the spreadsheet. Uh, it needs to pay capital gains tax first um, rather than after all the principal has, with it, has been withdrawn. And if you know anything about the stock market, you know this is a bad abstraction, but we've gone over this a billion times now. Well, twice, but it feels like a bazillion times. So I'm not going to go over it again. I'm just going to get right back to it. So at the end, I just sort of hurriedly tried to hack something in. It didn't work. So now I'm going to do it a little bit better. So the starting capital gains is what we want. And I remember we, we were trying to program this and I had so much trouble with it. Um, for some reason, um, let's see. So let me just look at what I've got here. I've got starting balance, starting principal. So capital gain should equal um, starting balance minus starting principal. And um, And I want to rename subtract to minus. Um, but for whatever reason, that's not giving us the answer I'm expecting. So it expected 62.33, but was 6,600. Uh, the starting balance is 10,000. Starting principal is 3,000. We're saying total withdrawals subtract to zero it's capital gains minus the total withdrawals. No. Um, man, why does this always throw me for a loop? Whenever I get into this code, it just completely confuses me. So I, um, I'm actually going to work on a note card as I normally would, and I apologize that you can't see it, but um, I'm going to just try to figure this out. And if it's boring, I'll edit it out. So what is going on here? So our starting balance, capital gains is starting balance minus starting principal, which is our starting balance is uh, 10,000. And our starting principal is 3,000. We call that our, that's like our cost basis, although this is a, not a great abstraction, so I don't know if it's accurate to call it that, but that's our cost basis is 7,000. I mean, that, no, our cost basis is 3000 Our capital gains um, is 7000 So if I sell 7000 or withdraw 7000 um, and on this model we pay capital gains tax first, we should pay capital gains tax on 7000 which means that the capital gains withdrawn should be 7,000 here. So capital gains is done correctly. Total withdrawals minus capital gains is not the right answer at all. What we want to say is actually we could just, for the purposes of this test, um, we could just return capital gains. Uh, and let's see what happens if we run that. Well, other stuff is going to fail. But um, that's
that is passing. So let's go ahead and explore that a little further. Furthermore, we want to say that um, once we withdraw more, so let's withdraw another 1,000, and we'll say we'll pay no more tax once all capital gains withdrawn. So it should still be 2,333. And that should still work properly. You know, I think I think the reason I, this is always causing a problem, just working this out on paper completely cleared it up for me. I think the reason I'm always seemed so dumb is because I'm trying to narrate the video and so I don't ever do the, the actual paperwork that I normally do, you know, just the fiddling and notes and so forth, um, which is a great relief because I just, I was feeling really dumb, let me tell you. Okay, so um, what's that giving me? Let's, uh, let's actually just run the one thing that we need to run for now. So, yeah, there's that. Um, but I know that code isn't right, so let's withdraw $500. And we're going to say pay tax. Assume, um, yeah, that's, that's really this again. Except it's 500 divided by 0.75 minus 500 is 167. That's not going to work because we are just returning capital gains as the total amount. Um, yeah. So We'll have to fix this up somehow. So capital gains is not the correct answer. The correct answer is the maximum of either the capital gains or the amount withdrawn. So is there any way I can do that without writing another method? Hmm. I don't think so. That's the correct code. So we should be back to everything passing except for our test. Which we'll come back to. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to go write a method um, in dollars that will allow me to say, you know, better or the max of one or the other. But before the before I do that, um, it's bugging me. Yes, this is not at all intelligent sounding, minus to zero, but I'm going to go with it anyway. Um, and this is going to be plus. I think that just, that's, that's the way I talk through it, so I like that a little better. Okay, so
um, dollars. So value one is going to be twenty. And uh, we're expecting value one dot max of two values. Another terrible name, but that's okay. Uh, to be thirty, and vice versa. And we'll call this value one. Value two. That's really if it fails for me to be able to find the line that it refers to pretty easily. And then um, create that method. So fail. I'm pretty sure I can use math dot max yeah it looks like it I didn't read that thoroughly and that bit me when I was doing the the fixed point but I think it will work there we go okay so back at the ranch um, this way I'm going through this, by the way, and is is very ugly. And it could be that I'm in a hurry uh, and just trying to get this in so I can go to bed on a Sunday night, or I don't know. Uh, it's the best way I can think of doing it right now. Say lovey. So let's just run this one again, and let's go ahead and this is the old code. And this, and I like to, whenever I do this, I like to say delete me, just so, I hate seeing litter, leftover code littered with comments, so I put in delete me, so that when I come across this again, I know that it was something that I feel I can delete. So, um, this is going to be named minus, and... Now I should be able to say capital gains max of two values. Uh, if anybody can think of a better name for this method, please let me know. I'll, I'll get your uh, comments and put it in. Um, it's not total withdrawals I'm looking for. It is the total withdrawals instance variable. Um, which I need to fix. Make a method. Absolutely. Sold. Or requested withdrawn or something like that. Okay, um, that might work. No. Uh, oh, well, I ran too many tests. Uh, let's go back to this. Even that one didn't work, though. Oh, but I don't want the max, do I? I want the min. <laughs> Well, uh, it is late on a Sunday night, and I'm out of time, and obviously, um, well, I would like to say that that's making me stupid, but as you've seen from the other videos, I'm right on form. So thanks very much for watching. I will catch you next time.